If you're a slots player, you want to learn to make more money at slots and learn exactly how slot machines work. As a gambler, everybody wants to know that one bit of secret sauce to help put them over the edge and really give them the advantage when they're at the casino. With so many videos out there and so many questions about how these devices actually work, wouldn't it be nice if there was just one video that summarized everything into three really easy, key, foundational points that you need to know in order to be better at slot machines. And that's exactly what we're doing in today's video. Welcome back everybody to the Cowboy Slot channel where I bring you experienced advice from years of working in the casino industry, tips, reviews, and so much more. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell to stay notified for when the next video comes out. For those of you that are new here and don't know me, my name is Brantley. I am a slot technician. I have worked for three different casinos. I've also worked out in the field and closely with a lot of game developers and manufacturers. On the Cowboy Slot channel, we do not give opinions. These are facts directly from the inside of the industry about exactly how everything really truly works. The main driving point to really starting this channel is I have seen firsthand the harm that gambling can do, and I have seen countless players make mistakes that were actually easily avoidable or correctable. When it comes to slots out there, there are so many myths and believing in these myths really can harm your gameplay and can lead you down a very dangerous path. In order to truly become a better slots player, there are three golden rules. These are the three basic elemental keys, the foundation to becoming a better slots player. These three rules you have to accept. If you do not accept these three basic foundation blocks, then you will forever be stuck in this endless cycle of not being able to manage your losses, not being able to choose machines right. These are the three basic foundations that you have to understand and accept, and we're going to cover all three of those in this video right now. And be sure to stick around to the end because all of these are very important. Again, these are the foundation blocks. If you don't get the foundation right, then you can't build a successful structure. So be sure to stick around till the very end and check out the cards at the end of this video and the channel library because there's so many videos in here that are very, very helpful. So let's start it off with golden rule, key element number one. And this one right here should be able to answer almost every single question that you have ever had about slot machines. This one element, this one foundational base covers all of the common questions that we get and we've seen not here just on this channel, but out in the field as well and working for the industry. Foundation rule number one, nothing that you as the player can do can manipulate a slot machine. Now stop and think about this one for a moment. There is no casino or game maker on earth that would ever put a game into operation where you as the player could do any kind of a secret trick in order to better your odds or better your chances at that machine. These would be things like not your player's card, taking it in and out, taking the ticket in and out, tapping the screen, fast stopping the reels. None of that is real and none of that works. Before you ever ask a question about slot machines, stop and ask yourself if that question fits into this category is what I am about to ask any kind of form of me trying to manipulate the game to give me better odds? The answer is always going to be no. Slots are extremely psychological. This is a billion dollar industry with the best human behavioral psychologists in the world working behind the scenes. Casinos love when you think that fast stopping the reels is going to help you because they make money faster. Casinos absolutely love when you sit down at a machine thinking that that pot is full or that pig is about to burst because they know that you're going to end up chasing it. These are all built-in mind tricks. And let's add to this a little bit more. I want you to really pause and think for a moment. Do you honestly believe that a casino or a game maker would allow any kind of a secret sauce or trick, like if you pull your player's card out at the right time, or if you cash out and cycle your ticket through, do you really honestly think that they would allow that? The answer is going to be no. And even if that secret trick did work, they would have realized it by now and they would have put a stop to it. So doing special tricks like turning up the volume to better your odds, do you honestly think that if that worked, there would be a lot more millionaires out there in the world and the casino would be packed with people doing it on purpose to get those better better odds. No, because it does not work. You need to understand that foundational block. There is nothing that you, the player, can do at all 
to manipulate the slot machine into giving you better odds. This is a critical element that you need to clear your head of in order to become a better slots player. Why is that? Well, you're not going to be able to focus on the things that you need to be focusing on, which we will talk about in the next two keys, if your mind is clouded with all of the myths and all of the thinking that there's some kind of a secret method or secret sauce out there, because there's not. And this is where it gets really sad, because there's a lot of people, there's actually millions of people out there that believe these myths in their mind that if they do all these special things, they're going to have better odds. And the unfortunate and sad part is it affects millions of people a year because these people will go out to the casino and they will keep trying and trying and trying, thinking that they have a better chance when in reality they don't. This can lead a person down a very dangerous path. So is there a real way to do better at slots? Yes, there is. And that gets into element number two. The key foundational point number two is your budget and your budget control is going to be 90% of your success at slots. Slots are a game of math. They are a pretty calculator. And people actually do win a lot more money than they think they do at slots. But what inevitably happens is they start falling victim to either all of these myths like, oh, I just won a whole bunch of money, so the slot is hot, I have to continue and they ultimately will end up losing it. People don't properly calculate for their session. Most people are going to lose most of the time. This is a general rule of mathematics. The slots, even the best slots, you can still lose. The slots, no matter what, are always going to make money for the house. So how do you combat this? Well, there's really a couple things, but the first big thing is you need to set limits, set stopping points every time you sit down and play. If you get a big win when you're playing a slot machine, at that point, sit back before you hit that spin button, sit back and ask yourself, do I wanna cash out or should I take a break? How comfortable am I with the budget where I'm at? That is a key element. And I know that that sounds very basic, but most people that play slots do not do this. And that ultimately leads them to a path of no success. Again, it's all psychology. Players get that rush of dopamine. Every time they get a big hit, they're like, wow, I could win more. As slots players, we've all been in that position. We've all felt that it's human nature, but you have to learn to combat that. Now, the other side to budget is that people fail to keep everything into perspective. This is a really, really big thing, and I'll explain exactly what it means. Now, don't get me wrong. Big jackpots and big line hits do happen all the time, and I have seen it. I have seen times where players will put $20 into a machine. They hit the button once, and they hit the biggest jackpot of their life but it is extremely rare to happen. Anytime that you are playing slots, you need to make sure to keep your reality in check. If you go into the casino with $20, you're probably not going to win. That's just a matter of mathematics. But if you walk into the casino with say $20,000, now you have a lot more room to play with. You can be a little more risky and you have a lot more of a bankroll and a budget to really withstand those swings and long periods of losses. This is why, especially on YouTube, when you watch a lot of those high roller players out there playing, or if you watch videos of people winning these really, really big amounts, it can feel like, wow, that person really wins all the time. But the truth is, is that they have a much bigger budget. They can withstand all of those swings. They can take the losses. They have the budget to sit there and keep on playing. It's not because the machines are set any different and it's not because they're doing something secret or some kind of a special sauce. This is just general mathematics. The more you have, the more play you get, the more you can ride out the losses. But the last thing that anybody should ever do is go outside of their personal budget or try to keep up with the Joneses. You should not do that. You should not attempt doing that. You need to make sure that you're staying within your own comfort zone, within your own budget. Do not run out and try to do $100 spins because you saw somebody else do it thinking that you're going to get the same result. That person might be able to withstand thousands or maybe even millions of dollars in losses and it not affect them, but it can affect the average player. So do not try to keep up with the Joneses or anything like that. Get your own personal budget figured out in mind and stay within that range. Your budget should always be your personal choice about what you can afford to comfortably and safely lose. And you never know, you might be the next lucky person that puts $20 into a slot machine, spends it once and gets a big jackpot. And I'm sure that we will probably get some comments on this video of people that that has happened to. And it is a really, really exciting thing to have happen, but just know that it is rare that it does happen. But never chase anything and never expect anything. This is really the second key foundational element. And finally, we come to element number three. This is the third 
foundational block, the third key, the third golden rule that you need to know in order to be a better slots player. And this is a big one. Element number three, different slots are actually designed for a specific player type. This is where the true measure of doing better at slots really comes into play. Like the second golden rule of budget, where budget is 90% of your success and budget control is 90% of your success, this is the other 10%. This is also one of those golden rules that nobody really outside of the gaming industry really even knows is a thing, or maybe they know, but they don't exactly know how deep down the rabbit hole this actually goes. I also do want to point out for this one that I personally have been in the design studios. I've worked closely with several different developers and I have seen the internal documentation that goes along with these machines. Every single slot game that is ever made comes with what is called a par sheet. The par sheet is an internal document that is held behind closed doors that only the insides of the casino really ever get to see. And what it is, is it is a sheet, it is a document that tells the casino exactly how that game is supposed to play out and all of the details associated with the operation of that game. Some games, for example, have very simple par sheets. They are very short, very sweet, and very to the point, indicating that it is a very easy, very simple game. Others have very, very long par sheets. These can be hundreds and hundreds of pages. I have even seen a par sheet that was over a thousand pages before. It gets pretty crazy. But this basically indicates that that game is extremely complicated. It's gonna be very difficult for somebody to really hit something good on it, especially on a regular basis. Now the developers and the game designers, when they sit down to make a game, they have a target audience in mind. What audience are we gonna target this game most to? This also means that in that design factor, they are also accounting for what is the average spend of that target audience. Now we're tying into block number two again. See all the foundation blocks, they come together, and this is why it's important to really understand all three of them. So a game designer might actually design a slot machine, design a new game, and then they might market it and pitch it as this game is designed to really intrigue your high limit players, meaning that it is going to take a significantly higher average bankroll for the average player in order to truly feel the impact of the game and get a good ride out of the game and be able to experience everything that the game has to offer. What ultimately happens is these games end up getting popular for other reasons, whether that's flashy graphics or any kind of perceived persistence like a pot or a pig or a firecracker, something like that. These games get really popular for that reason. And all the while, you, the player, have no clue that that game was not designed for the budget that you brought with you to the casino. And this is where most people fail because you, once again, you have to take all of the foundation blocks into consideration. You have to pick games that are appropriate for the budget that you brought with you to the casino. That right there is the one thing. If there was one thing one thing alone that could make you a better slots player. It is that right there. You have to learn to pick games that are appropriate and made for the budget that you have. So I'll just toss out some examples. If you have a small budget and let's say you're just going for the entertainment, maybe you're meeting a group of friends for some drinks or you're out celebrating somebody's birthday and you're not really a huge gambler. You don't want to get a big jackpot or anything like that. You just want to go for the entertainment. Then by all means, you can play any game that you want that's fun for you. I would recommend doing something at a very low, very minimum bet. Uh, try to get the most spins out of the game just so you can have fun with it and get an entertainment factor. But you do have to realize and understand that with a budget that's that small, say $20, you can't expect anything really big to happen from that. So if you are going into the casino and you're just wanting to have a little fun and be entertained, then play those lower bets, play those lower denoms, you know, get as many spins out of the game as you, as you possibly can. Just have fun and enjoy the game, but keep your reality in check and realize that you're probably not going to hit anything big. It does happen, but most likely it's not going to happen. Now let's look at another example. Say you come into the casino and you do have a small budget, but you really would like to get something. Maybe you come into the casino with $100 and you're like, you know, I, I really would like to get something bigger. I, I want to work my way up to maybe get your first jackpot or something like that. Then start with a very simple game, a very basic game, and really keep your budget control in mind every step of the way. Play it, double it up, set a little bit aside, double that up, set it, set it aside. And the higher you grow up on the ladder, 
then you can start moving to the higher denoms. Use the 1% rule. We talk about that a lot here on the channel where 1% of your budget, that should be your max bet amount. So if you say brought $100 in, you shouldn't let your bet amount exceed $1. And then as you get up there, you know, maybe you get built up to five, uh, $500, then you can try a $5 machine. Do something like that, that slow buildup. Eventually you'll get to that point. Now you can always fail at it because it is still a slot machine and that's ties back into foundation block number one. So again, all the foundation blocks coming together, you have to make sure to get all of them in place. But if that's your situation, then learn how to pocket your wins take some breaks, really ride it out as long as you possibly can, and always keep your budget in mind at the absolute forefront of everything, every decision that you're making. Now let's go to the opposite end of the spectrum for our last example. Let's say you have a giant budget, let's say five, $10,000 Plus, and let's say that losses don't affect you. You've, you've already accounted for losing that money. You've got plenty more set aside. Losses are not going to affect you. Then at that point, then yeah, you can push the envelope. You can take more risks. You can start playing things that are higher in volatility, that are more complicated, stuff like that. That's really what those games are designed for is somebody with a lot higher of a budget. But this is the key part to this foundational block. No matter what your path is, so if you fit into one of those examples, great. But no matter what your path is, stay on your path. Do not, again, do not try to keep up with the Joneses, look to your left, look to your right, see what other people are doing, and do not deviate from your path. You'll get there eventually. You can work up from one stage to another, it just takes time. But do not ever attempt to try to chase something or try to say, oh, you know what? Wow, that person's hitting a lot and they're doing $100 a spin. It must be because the machine is different. That's foundation block number one. I have to do that. That's foundation block number two. You're going outside of your budget. And then ultimately that leads to failure. So you see how all of these blocks really come together. Do not try to deviate out of your own path. Don't try to keep up with the Joneses. That's really the key thing. But for element number three, it's going to be picking machines that are appropriate for your budget. Now on this channel, I do have so many videos in the library of exactly how to identify what game is gonna be a higher volatile game, what game is gonna be a lower volatile game. We also have tons of videos in the library of actually playing and demonstrating various different types of games, everything from penny to $100 spins and everything in between all different types of games. So be sure if you are new here to check out the video library and just browse through because there are so many videos, especially on this topic, especially on this element number three. So be sure, hey, hit that like and subscribe button while you're at it, but be sure to check out the video library. It is possible to do better at slots. It is possible to start lessening your losses and it is possible to start walking away from the casino with money. But always remember these foundational blocks. And again, like I said before, if you don't accept all three of these foundational blocks wholeheartedly, then you're going to continue to ever be in this vicious cycle. There's no secret tricks. There's no secret sauce. A game maker and a casino would never allow a game to be in operation where you as the player could manipulate something. Budget is going to be 90% of your success. What kind of a budget are you bringing and are you keeping your reality in check? And are you picking machines that are appropriate for your budget? Really look at the games that you're playing. You might not realize that some of these games out there are designed for somebody that's on a different path than you are. So really, what is your path? Figure out your budget and figure out your path and then look around the casino, take that walk, watch our video on how to pick a slot machine because it details the 10 points that you need to look for. Walk around the casino and say, okay, is this machine on my path? If it is, then try for that one, but always keep your reality in check and never deviate from your path until you get to a point where you can. So be careful out there, plan accordingly, budget properly, and always remember that slot machine strategy has nothing to do with controlling the machine. It has everything to do with controlling yourself. Give this video a like, a subscribe would be nice, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Check out these other videos and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more slot tips. It's always free. Visit ropethejackpot.com for free guides and a whole lot more. Catch you on the next episode.